So what do you think about boys? Just friends, not You're dating. dating. You think they're nice. Okay, now what do you think about crushes? Do you have a crush? Oh my goodness, we are here with Jojo Siwa and Miss Bailey Ballinger, and I thought we'd just talk for a little bit. I love that. I just wanted to have some like girl talk time, answer some questions that I got off of Instagram. You know what we should do? You should ask questions that are like an 11 year old and a 15 year old, like the difference in the answer to the question. Absolutely. But like, get into like good things, not like what's your yeah. favorite hair bow. Like, get into like. Let's get deep. Yeah. Yes. Let's get deep yes. here, people. JoJo is like a mentor to Bailey and a and role model. And I hope that Bailey can be a role model for others as well. I'd love for them to share their points of view in the world. Yay. Love that. Yay. All right. So let's see. I, I, I have some questions here. And if I think of some deep ones as well, we'll be throwing them out there. <laughs> let's start with Ingo Burt says, do either of you sleep with socks on? Yes. No. Oh, the difference between an 11 and 15 yes. year old. Socks, pants, and a hoodie. Yes. Because then I don't have to worry about a blanket. I can like snuggle with the blanket. What about you? Pajama. Pajamas? Yeah, she sleeps in JoJo jammies now. Love that. That was just a warm up. <laughs> we are going to get deeper here. Jennifer Loves Nugget says, what is something Bailey admires about JoJo? I like how... Uh, excited she is ready that's, to do stuff. That's a good one. I'm very excited about everything. No, I think something that I really admire that I like about Bailey is that she just is herself. She's not afraid to be herself, you know, and that's like a cheesy answer and that's just like a thing, but she's really not afraid to be herself. <laughs> and the little things that she does with her eyes. She... <laughs> <laughs> yes, that awkward spoon, he says, if you two wrote a book together, what would it be about? Oh boy, um, I feel like the book would go back and forth a lot. <laughs> I don't think, okay. <laughs> You're like, it would never happen. <laughs> well, it, it wouldn't because we would write about total different things. Like all of my books is either A, a biography about my life, or B, like me and Bobo, or Jojo's Guide to Making Your Own Fun. So it's like, all my books are very like Jojo books, you know? Whereas I feel like Bailey would write stuff like Harry Potter, like fictional, where I'm very non-fictional. I feel like she would want to write fictional stories. That's what I'm trying to say. She would want to write fictional stories. I would want to write non-fictional stories, is what I think. What do you think, Bailey? Yeah. If JoJo was to write with you, what would you want to write? We could write about me having a dog for my first time if I ever get a dog. Are you trying to say then you'd have to research it? Great book yes. topic. <laughs> <laughs> what's like one of the hardest things in your life, Bailey? Like what's one of the hardest situations you've ever encountered? They don't have any mu like any um, musicals that kids can perform in here. And I want to change that someday. If you put your mind to it, you can do it. You can make it happen. I want to. You got to be so good that they have to add a role for you. That's what I would do when I was little. To be so good that they just don't have the option to not have you do it. Can you become your personal best? <laughs> your best and the best. You know, for me, the hardest thing is I am building up a career for myself right now. I am working so hard every day, but I have an exact vision of exactly what I want and exactly what I want to do every day. But it's the most difficult part about it is because of my age, people sometimes, most people are very good about it, but sometimes some people won't listen to me or won't even hear what I have to say because of my age. And I think that's one of the things that frustrates me the most. I got a question. Okay, let's This will be fun. <laughs> From an 11 year old little girl to a, I don't know your age, married woman. Oh, 35. What is your take on boys, boyfriends, and crushes? Well, let's hear from Bailey first. So what do you think about boys? Just friends, not you're dating. dating. You yes. think they're nice. Okay, now what do you think about crushes? Do you have a crush? No. But so, so you've never had a crush? You've never seen like a boy in a movie maybe that you've been like, oh, he's no. cute. Never? Okay, fair enough. So you're not focused on anything having to do with boys right now? No. <laughs> so it hasn't fully become any like a thing in our home yet. I but you still gotta like, I feel like she still knows. She's not answering yes or no if she's ever had a crush. I haven't. So you've never thought anyone has been like a little extra cuter than anyone else? No. Or a little extra nicer than everyone else? Everybody's nice. 
Okay, fair enough. What's yeah. your take on boys' crushes and boyfriends? I had crushes before Bailey's age. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't have boyfriends, but yeah, my, I mean, my take is, well, we'll, we'll get there when we get there. <laughs> so far, we have it, so yeah. it's kind of like, I like playing that. it cool. You know, all our kids are pretty young. It's not like I am completely like, oh, this isn't gonna happen, we're not there, or against it. We're, we're kind of like, is that, a, is that a thing? Is that, is that a, or are they just like, are they just playing board, a board game right now? Or is that like, is that a thing? Okay, fair. So like, I'll, I like keep my eye on things like that, but so far. It's cute, they're young enough to where it's not serious yeah. yet. Well, what about you, Jojo? You're gonna yeah, ask what about me. You? Really about her crushes. I <laughs> definitely have a crush right now. I definitely have a crush. I have never had a boyfriend, never had a first kiss, never had anything. I've never even talked to this boy right now who is my crush. Um, but I mean. It's some tea, I'm dying. You've really? never even talked to him? Oh, is, it, is it Bohemian Rhapsody guy? Oh, well, them too. No, this person. Them? Right. This person really said, this person I'm getting married to. I've already decided it. Yes. But. Is it Parker? <laughs> she said she's never talked to them before. That would also be very weird. Um, Parker, oh, yeah, that would be weird. Parker. Yeah. That's, that's all about it. Parker is a little brother to me. Parker Parker is a little brother. Obviously, I've had crushes on M M McDreamy. We got we got McDreamy. We got everyone from Bohemian Rhapsody in their cast. Literally everyone. Um, Obviously, Freddie Mercury. You got a crush on me. I, I knew I it. Think, <laughs> <laughs> I think that that's the other way around, Parker. <laughs> I think that you have a crush on me. That's We're just friends, cool. though, right? We're friends. No. What are we? In love. <laughs> Age is just a number four five. You're fifteen. I am. I'm fifteen. I'm fifteen. Number. He's bringing it back to that, that that a young person can still do anything. Yeah. He can follow his dreams. You can follow your dreams. You can be whatever you want to be. Just like being in love with you. <laughs> you can. You can be in love with me. Sure. <laughs> Like kissing you on the face. <laughs> so I was under the impression that my kids weren't there yet. But like maybe I need to be more self-aware. No, 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 no. I'm gonna marry you. <laughs> that is very, very, very sweet, Parker. What about Catherine? And Zendaya. <laughs> Uh oh, he forgot about his side girl. <laughs> well, I want to marry you. I'm going to spell something out. N O T G O N N A E V E R H A P P E N. I L O V E T H I S K I D S O M U C H B U T N O. She's such a fast talker. She's a very fast speller. I said Parker is the coolest kid I know. She loves you very much, but she's not ready to get married right now. Yeah. So when I'm 16, you'll be 21 and I will marry you. <laughs> you know, Parker, I think by then you'll forget about this. I don't know. I'm kind of looking forward to using this whole footage for your wedding ceremony someday. Yes, <laughs> yes let's have the wedding. <laughs> We'll talk in a little bit. <laughs> but we are going to marry. <laughs> possibly. No, not a possibly. Yes. <laughs> You're still going to marry me. <laughs> you know, I have to say, I'm honored because that is the first time I've been proposed to and just convinced that I'm getting married to a five-year-old. But that's the first time a boy has expressed that he likes me. And I think that's very cute. He's five, not no. <laughs> I just think it's very cute that a little boy has a crush. I just think it's adorable. Did you ever imagine <laughs> that potentially a husband of yours could dress like you just about every single day? <laughs> uh, expectation. You know what is my expectation? My husband has to wear JoJo merch every day. I think that would be super cute. Yeah, that, that would be a fun thing to have a husband that dresses like me and supports my merch. I just turned off the camera and found out JoJo's crush and Christopher and I both approve. My Reaper. Australian crush. Your what? My Australian crush. I can't even have a secret. Everyone knows he's Australian. I say he's an Aussie boy. Does he? How does he know? Uh, no idea. All right. Okay. This is a really important question. Oh I, boy. This, this this hits me hard. Okay. Carly M says, "Do you prefer soggy cereal or crunchy cereal?" Soggy. You are not soggy. Yes. Oh my god. Do you know that I prefer soggy cereal? Love that. 
Depends on which kind of cereal. Parker just went up and did a costume change. Yes. <laughs> That's how he lives his life. <laughs> yes, just costume reveals. I like soggy rice checks and I like crunchy Cheerios. Rice checks and crunchy Cheerios. And I like all of them soggy. <laughs> oh my gosh, we are like a soggy cereal crew. This is actually a big deal. Like he everybody in the comments also will say every answer. That. <laughs> no, he's he has his own opinion. Really? Yes. It's funny because I like crunchy. I thought you said soggy. No, 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 I like crunchy. What do you like, Parker? I like crunchy. <laughs> no, I like soggy. I like soggy. Uh -huh. Sure. <laughs> Allie Dennis Four says, "What is your biggest fear?" Fire. Being dead. Failing. I'm very afraid of heights. I have an irrational. Really? Yeah. Particularly edges. Okay, well that was a lot of fun. I found out a lot about my children that I wasn't expecting to hear. Neither was I. Especially Parker. <laughs> and um, I'm falling in love with you. <laughs> Not gonna let it go. So everybody, please make sure to subscribe to JoJo. She's incredible. She has over nine million subscribers. Crazy! I can't even. I can't even. I can't even. So if you're one of those nine million already. It is about time. She, Thank you. She has some incredible, wholesome content, and we approve, right? We oh, approve. Yeah. <laughs> we love Jojo. Double approve. We love Jojo. This was so much fun. Thank you for joining us, Jojo. Thank you for having me. Bye. 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 <laughs>